Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Anise and I make videos related to Kubernetes and the cloud native ecosystem. Now in this video, we are going to look at Helm chart dependencies. If you have been watching my YouTube channel for some time now, you might know that I'm a big fan of using Helm, Helm with Terraform, Helm as a standalone tool to deploy my Kubernetes manifest and much more. Helm makes it really easy to define values, custom values for your different manifests. It makes it easy to install multiple manifests in combination. If you deal with lots of different YAML manifests, you don't want to do kubectl apply file one by one of your different manifests, right? So you can package it up nicely in Helm. Check out one of my previous videos if you're curious about an introduction to Helm. Now, I've come across Helm chart dependencies because we're actually using that in some of our Helm charts at Aqua Security. And I've realized that actually many Helm charts out there do that. So I want to give you an overview of what Helm chart dependencies are, how to use them, how to get started, when to use them, what are the shortcomings as well and alternatives. Let's go. So here's the Helm website and they have also a very comprehensive documentation with all of the different components, everything related to Helm. They also have a great book uh, on how to use Helm that's written by some of the maintainers and creators of Helm. So if you really want to have a deep dive of Helm, do check out the book as well. It's on O'Reilly on their online platform. You can also order it. Um, I based my previous YouTube videos of Helm on the book as well. But yeah, if you're curious, I'm not sponsored, but the book is really good to get started and really get a deep dive on Helm. Now, what are Helm chart dependencies? Let's assume this is our Kubernetes cluster, right? And we want to deploy an application, right? We can do that with Helm. And here's like our Helm chart. <laughs> and within that Helm chart, we specify, for example, our deployment. And it's a bit early, that's why the typos. <laughs> deployment, our services, and any other resources, right? Those are all uh, YAML manifests here. Now, the thing is, a lot of times we want to also deploy not only local Helm charts, but maybe also remote Helm charts, right? That are in a remote Helm registry. So for instance, when you're using the Trivia Operator Helm chart, and we go in a second into what that is, um, you're using the Aqua Sec um, Helm chart registry, okay? And you're deploying that, you're basically referencing that in your deployment, you tell your Kubernetes cluster, hey, please install that. Now, the thing is, let's assume we always want to have the Trivi operator Helm chart deployed alongside of our Helm chart, right? We want to, we don't want to deploy one Helm chart after the other. We might want to say, okay, as part of our application, we always want to deploy the Aqua, the Trivi, TV operator Helm chart. Always want to do that. And then we just say we reference this one in here. And that's basically a dependency. So we don't have the full chart specified locally, just the dependency to the registry where the chart is stored. Now, what is the Trivi operator? Here's the Trivi operator repository. It's basically a Kubernetes operator. And check out my previous operator video, also linked up there, uh, if you're completely new to operators to understand what it does. Trivi is an all-in-one security scanner, and the operator basically automates scans of your running workloads within your cluster. That's what the operator does. There are several different installation options, as you can find in the documentation. So getting started, and here you will find installation with kubectl, helm, operator, lifecycle manager. You can install it. Now we are going to use helm. And you can also find link below the git repository that has everything that I'm going to use. Now what we're going to do first, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create in just this empty directory, we're going to create a new helm chart. And we can do that with helm, um, create. And then dependency, we're just going to call it dependency chart. Okay, and this is going to create a Helm chart within the dependency directory here that has basically a template of the different Helm charts. Now, this is a values 
Uh, this is a nginx helm chart here that's specified. So you can find here nginx and we want to replace that now with our own with our own application, right? So I'm just gonna replace that with my own application. And then that's basically the outline. Now, how do we specify dependencies when we deploy this chart, right? How do we do that? How, we, how do we go about that? Well, we have to define a dependency section. And let me show you what a dependency section look like, looks like. The dependency section is defined within your chart.yaml file. You should speci specify a section called dependencies, and then you can define like one dependency after the other. You specify the name of the chart and the chart version, and then the link to the chart repository, to the chart registry where it's stored. Now, you can also specify a local Helm chart. Let's say I have here another Helm chart. Let's say this is Helm chart one, and then I have another Helm chart. I could also specify the path to the other Helm chart. The problem would be that I would have to store it in the same Git repository, because otherwise people will not be able to reuse it. If my uh, paths change, it won't work again and so on. So you want to make sure you ideally want to specify a remote chart registry instead of a uh, local one, of a local Helm chart. Now we're going to go ahead and we say dependencies and we're going to specify our trivi operator dependency. We just format that nicely. And this is basically trivi operator. That's the name that we are giving it. Then the version that's used and then the link. Now, where can you find this information? You can find this information here in the Helm installation guide. So every documentation that has a Helm chart installation guide will have here in Helm repo add to add the registry to your Helm repositories will have the link and um, then also the name that you could give it that's commonly used and the version referenced. So you could just look at any Helm installation documentation and you will find the information there. Now what we want to do next is we want to define some specific uh, values for that home chart. So these are the values that we set in our local home chart in our application home chart, right? They are all for this application. But now we want to set some specific values for our uh, trivi operator chart. And we do that by specifying first the name that we have given it, which is trivi operator. And then trivi this is basically taken directly from the values YAML file in the trivi operator Helm chart. Trivi ignore and fix true. Now, where is that? Let's go back to the repository and we can find the Helm chart within deployments, Helm and values YAML file. And then we can see here all of the values that we can specify. And we can find here trivi and then ignore unfixed is here and we've set it in our chart to true, meaning we only want to see any vulnerabilities in our vulnerability scans that already have a fix available. Now we're going to save that and then we can go ahead and install the Helm chart. Now in order to use the dependencies, we have to do a Helm dependency build for the first time of the dependency chart. And this is going to grab the dependencies and save it in a chart.log file that we now have here, our chart.log file. Now, bef when you're using the for the first time dependencies, you want to do a Helm chart build. But from then onwards, what you can do instead is do a Helm dependency update. Also, all of the commands related are described in the blog post link below. Now we can go ahead and we can install our Helm chart, um, which is named a dependency and in the dependency name directory and in the app namespace. Then we go to K9S and in K9S we can now view uh, both of our charts being installed. And once the trivia operator Helm chart is installed, it will run vulnerability reports on our application. Like always, I hope this video was useful. I would highly appreciate if you would give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for upcoming videos, tutorials. Again, all of the links, everything used within this tutorial, as well as the blog post, the full blog post, are linked below in the description. Do check that out. I would also highly appreciate if you would like to share this tutorial on your own social media. I hope to see you in one of my upcoming videos. Have a great day. Bye bye.